in last class we have seen anemophily pollination by wind wind we have also seen different types of pollination also in anemophily the air or the wind act as pollinating agent which is abiotic one as we know some of the plant utilize abiotic agent to pollinate the flowers next hydrophily hydro means water pollination takes place by water water also act as pollinating agent you know water means like wind it is one of the abiotic agent what is hydrophily pollination takes place by water is called hydrophily the pollinating agent is water very important and it is abiotic not majority of the plants pollination takes place by this method only few genera shows this type of pollination that is hydrophily for example plants like valisneria valisneria an aquatic plant it is commonly called tape grass another one hydrilla a submerged plant Zustera. It is a marine plant. Valisneria, Hydrilla, Zustera. Uh, we come across uh, Iconia, Pistia. So these are some aquatic plants or hydrophytes. Now we shall see pollination in Valisneria. valisneria as i told you it is commonly called tape grass because the leaves are ribbon like valisneria is submerged fresh water aquatic plant submerged means found growing completely under water it grows in fresh water the species of valisneria are exclusively dioecious dioecious means sexes are separate that is male and female plants are separate the female plant produce female flowers the female flowers got long stalk at the time of maturity 
the flowers float on the surface of water with the help of long pedicel whereas the male plant produces male flowers male flowers are produced in inflorescence the male flowers when attain maturity released into the water float on the surface of water and these flowers are carried by the water current when the male flower reaches the female flowers and the burst pollinate pollination takes place the pollination here takes place above the surface of water such type we call epihydrophily epi means above above the surface of water pollination takes place very good example is varisneria further the pollen grains are sticky in nature another important character of hydrophilus flowers sticky another character the pollen grains are protected from water how they are protected by having mucilaginous covering kolutu hogudange irutte mucilaginous covering okay that's all about pollination in valisneria if we examine hydrophilus flowers the flowers are not colorful and these flowers do not produce nectar why the flowers are colorless and they never produce the nectar means pollinating agent is wind or abiotic agent it cannot recognize the color or the nectar so that's all about uh, pollination in valisneria pollination in zoostera zoostera is a marine sea grass it is submerged under water the female flowers pollinate under water how means the male flowers produce uh, sorry the uh, stamens or the anthers produce the pollen grains pollen grains are long ribbon like release into the water and they are carried passively in water by water current when they reach it the stigma the pollen coil round and pollination takes place zoostera is commonly called marine sea grass 
it is a marine plant okay so that's all about uh, pollination in zoostera refer the diagram for refer the diagram for hydrophily while snaria diagram is there okay now we can see pollination in varsnaria water male plant female flowers the diagram some important need points are there we come across the lower group of plants like algae bryophytes pteridophytes where do we come across these plants these plants are normally found growing at hill stations where the atmosphere is cool and moist so there we come across many species of bryophytes stratophytes okay these plants produce the sperms or the male gametes male gametes with acelia or flagella for the transportation of these gametes water is essential a very important point so this is the reason why we don't find bryophytes and pteridophytes in dry area okay next aquatic plants if we examine carefully the plants like icornia water lily the the flowers are found above the surface of water the flowers of icornia are colored very interesting thing is the plant is aquatic plant but pollination takes place by insects it's not by water a very important need point also once again icornia and water lily pollination takes place by insect not by not by water okay zoophily zoo means animal pollination takes place by animals is called zoophily zoophily means biotic agent majority of flowering plants or angiosperms use animal animals as pollinating agent for example even big animals like primates are used as pollinating agent primate means lemur lemur pollinate some flowers some of the rodents they are living on the tree we call arboreal species arboreal rodent pollinate the flowers even the flying lizard what we call gecko a reptile pollinate the flower 
garden pea uh, sorry garden lizard pollinate some plants like this even the big animals like lemmus rodents gecko lizards even the crow pollinate the flowers next ornithophily pollination takes place by birds is called ornithophily these flowers show some adaptation for example the flowers which are adapted for birds are very big in their size or large in their size say bombax they are colorful attract and these flowers produce honey say for example some birds like sun bird humming bird even the big one crow pollinate the flower so sun bird it weighs only 2 grams pollinate the flowers so that's all about pollination by birds okay next we shall see one more type of pollination entomophily pollination takes place by insects is called entomophily in brief pollination by insects for example honey bees butterflies flies flies means just tumba chik chikka hartakanta ulugal tara irthavala wasp kanija kadjirige wasp beetles even moths deepratra bartala adu moths pollinate the flower the animal pollinated plants or show special adaptations it means some of the plants are pollinated by some species of insects species oriented pollination you can say ide huwa ide hula pollinate madutte animals ಆ ಥರ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಜೀನೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಆರ್ ಅಲೋಗ್ಯಾಮಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬೈ ಹನಿ ಬೀಸ್ ಮೇಜರ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆರ್ ಹನಿ ಬೀಸ್ butterflies also pollinate now we shall see some adaptations if we examine the flowers the flowers of entomophily are very big means they are bigger in size they are colorful colorful means showy attractive the insects or the animals are easily attracted by the color when they visit pollen attaches then when they visit another plant of the same kind pollination takes place some plants produce small flowers if the flowers are small forms a group 
called inflorescence. If the flowers are small, form inflorescence, then it appears conspicuous. Insects or the animals attracted by the inflorescence pollinate the flowers. Some of the plants produce scent, wasne, and other plants produce fragrance. Fragrance means highly odorant. Say, for example, jasmine, malge, night queen, pollinated by the insects. One more plant is there, Arta botrys odoratismus. Produce flowers which are highly fragrant. Okay. Next, in some plants uh, we come across uh, the bract is modified to attract the insect. For example, Bougainvillea, paper uvaanth healthy, adrali. One more plant is there, Mushanda. What's that? Mushanda, a member of Rubiaceae family. Sepals are very small, petals also very small. One of the sepal becomes big, colorful, showy, attract the insect for pollination. Look here, in this plant, Mushanda, the sepal is colorful and attract the insect for pollination. Okay. Next, some plants produce flowers which have foul smell, bad odor. See, some insects, insects are there that the, we call flies or the nayas, a very small insects attracted by such bad odor and pollinate the flowers. Okay. Next. To sustain the animal visits. Andre, animal yavaglu burli nanatranta atara. Some of the plants provide some rewards. Some rewards. Call floral rewards to the animal. For example, Plants produce nectar or honey. For what purpose the plants produce or the flowers produce nectar or honey means it is given to the insects as a floral reward. Andre, now we are not the only one who is going to be a the price. In the other way, it is a reward. So, little difference is there, reward and award. See, plant spread, you give floral rewards. Some pollen of some plants are eaten by the insects. Okay. When they visit the flower for honey or for the pollen purpose, Pollen is attached to the abdomen. When the same insect visits another flower of the same kind, pollination takes place. Okay, that is another floral reward. Nectar, honey and pollen. Another character is pollen grains are sticky in nature. Ant koltave, animal body ge. They stick to the body or the abdomen. Okay. The plant amorphophallus 
Having heard the name Amorphophallus, Suvarna Gedde. One do tarkari, it is used as a vegetable. It produces the flowers which measures about six feet height. The tallest flower produced by the Amorphophallus. This plant provide safe place as floral reward to the insect to lay the eggs jaga kodutte insect as a floral reward okay that is one type some plants cannot complete their life cycle without each other. One such example is the yakka plant. You know yakka, a member of the family Liliaceae. Pranuba moth. Pranuba moth. The pranuba moth lay the eggs in the locule of yakka female flower. In the locule, it lays the eggs. Means, it gets protection. The pranuba moth gets protection for the eggs. In turn, pranuba pollinate the flower of yakka. This is how there is a relationship. So, both yakka and pranuba cannot complete their lives with life cycle without each other. So last point is the very important point for main exam and need. Pollen robbers. Pollen robbers. You know robbery? Dodd dodd dhaagi kalthana madhire robbery yanta karithi nao. Bank dharode yanta laadhanna we call. See, pollen robbers, some of the insects are there which consume pollen or nectar without bringing about pollination. Such animals are called pollen robbers. The insects are animals which consume pollen or nectar without bringing pollination are called pollen robbers. Thank you.